Welcome to Chamber Chats, a weekly series by the West Monroe West Washita Chamber of Commerce highlighting our valued members. As always, find out more about the Chamber and our members online at westmonroechamber.org. And now, this week's episode of West Monroe West Washita Chamber Chats. Thank you for watching today's episode of Chamber Chats, filmed right here at Louisiana Delta Community College. Today we have with us Miss Jo Ellen from Glenwood Breast Health Center. That's right. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. Um, so I want to talk about mammograms. Okay. Um, being that October is Breast Breast Cancer Awareness Month, let's talk about the process for mammograms and you know how people need it. So, sure. Who needs a mammogram and when? Every woman will need a mammogram. Most women need to start at age 40. If they have a particularly high risk of breast cancer, a strong family history, like if their mother or their sister had it um, at an earlier age, they can start earlier. That's something you need to talk to your doctor or your practitioner about. Okay. But every other woman needs to start having a mammogram every year at age 40. Wow, okay, and so that's what I was gonna ask next, is breast cancer genetic? Breast cancer can be genetic. There are two particular genes that we know of right now that um, have a very high risk of causing breast and ovarian cancer. You can be tested for that if you have a strong family history. And if you do, the treatment for that would probably be a preventative mastectomy or more intensive screening or a hysterectomy. Most breast cancers are not genetic. Actually, three out of four women who have breast cancer have no family history of breast cancer in their family. Wow. So specifically at in your department how many techs do you guys have and how many how we much have, experience uh, well we have four of us here we've all been working there a long time only women do mammograms there are no male mammographers yeah. and we have a combined total experience of 84 years wow. so we've been there a while that's amazing i just know that the process is hard it's scary you know a lot right. of people they just procrastinate it um you know with fear that it possibly could be breast cancer right you know and so I think that just knowing how much experience you all have is just like my fear kind of goes away right you know I know that I'm gonna obviously be in good hands right and you guys are you know gonna treat me like I'm important you know and my problems you are. are important yes right. so what is the process to get a mammogram well it's very simple we do need a written order from your provider that can that does not have to be a gynecologist it can be any physician or any nurse practitioner can order a screening mammogram and so all you do is get that order or they can send it to us you can call us at our scheduling department 318-329-8585 mm -hmm. and they will schedule a mammogram and you come in and see us um, if it's your very first mammogram, we call that a baseline, and we will know it, and we take extra care mm -hmm. with anyone because we know this can set the stage for the whole rest of your life in getting uh, mammograms. So we'll explain everything to you. We'll be very gentle. Um, most people, after I do it, I love to do first mammograms yeah. because after I do it, they say, well, that wasn't that yeah. bad. <laughs> So I, I really, that's my favorite thing to do is a baseline mammogram. So how often are you supposed to get mammograms done? I know every, it's probably a case by case right. basis. Um, but generally, in general. for a routine screening mammogram, the American College of Radiology recommends every year beginning at age 40. Wow. Now, if you, and that's for a screening mammogram. Mm -hmm. Now, if you feel a lump in your breast or feel any changes, anything different, then you'll need to see your doctor and get a diagnostic mammogram. And that could be before the age of 40? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. That can be at any age. If you feel a, a lump or any change in your breast, you need to see your practitioner or your doctor and they will um, order a diagnostic mammogram and that may involve more testing, different type of mammogram, we may do an ultrasound, and we can proceed from there. That's what I was going to ask the difference between a diagnostic mammogram and a screening mammogram. A screening mammogram is when you have no problems at all. It's just time for an annual mammogram. We will, you know, do the procedure. It gets read by a radiologist. We send the report to your doctor and then we send you a letter. If you have a diagnostic mammogram, that involves more. We, we go ahead and take your history. We may mark the area you feel. Uh, we'll do our mammogram images we may go ahead and do an ultrasound right mm -hmm. then our radiologist will look at it at that moment he may come talk to you it just depends on the procedure and we may go from there as far as you know telling you it's fine or maybe possibly scheduling a biopsy if that's indicated yes and so i know that um you know the evolution of mammograms have 
you know, changed right. over the years. And so you guys offer 3D mammograms. Correct. And so can you tell us a little bit about how those 3D mammograms are more beneficial than sure. a 2D? Sure. A 2D mammogram, the best way to describe it is you're taking a picture of your breast in two different views. And it's like taking a picture of a book. Mm -hmm. And so you um, take, that just takes a picture from top to bottom. A 3D mammogram is like opening the book. And when you, as you turn the pages, you're looking at slices of that breast tissue in between and so it's much more detailed, it's a much better exam, especially for people who have dense breasts. Mm -hmm. And it, it's been a revolutionary change in breast imaging. What's the difference between a dense breast and a fatty breast? Um, well, a dense breast just means you have dense breast tissue. It's a little thicker, mm -hmm. um, more difficult to read. Actually, it can slightly, you do have an increased risk of breast cancer with a dense mm -hmm. breast, yes. And a fatty breast is totally fatty replaced, what we call and uh, what we call it. And that is a little easier to read, a little less chance of, of having breast cancer. But irregardless, if you're fatty or dense, the only way to know is through imaging. Mm -hmm. And you still need a mammogram once every year. Yeah, and so you shouldn't, it's not something to be fearful of. It's right. something no, to protect some, you. Right, something to talk to your doctor about. And if you need any additional testing for your dense breast, you, know, you can talk to them about it. Mm -hmm. And there's other exams they can do. So how many women just I guess a statistic um, just I guess go without and you know don't get testing and then eventually end up finding they have it. Well out of one out of every eight women will get breast cancer in their lifetime so the number one risk of getting breast cancer is just being a woman. Yeah. Now it does increase your risk like I said if you have a family history certain genetic causes most of the time like I said earlier 75 percent of women have no risk it, it just happens. Mm-hmm. So what, so, it, what are some ways that uh, as a chamber, as a community, we can support y'all's mission to the mammograms? Best, the best thing is knowledge. Just get your mammogram done. It is, it's not painful. We're very gentle with you. It's not a bad experience. Talk to someone who's had it before. Mm -hmm. um, talk to your doctor about it. You know, all of our healthcare providers are very proactive in ordering mammograms. Your, your doctor or provider will have no problem scheduling you a mammogram yes, and we'll take care of you. Yeah, and so I know this has got to be a difficult field to work in just because you can see the greatest parts of it and you obviously right. see the worst parts of it. But right. what brings you joy, Miss Joellen? I just, I love doing mammograms. This is, I said, this is my retirement job. Mm -hmm. I, had, I, I was in imaging in a few different areas and every few years I was kind of ready for a change and this is just the most rewarding field. And people ask me all the time, well, how do you do this all day? Yeah. And I said, I love it. It's, it's very, it's rewarding. I love seeing my ladies come in year after year. I love seeing them after they've been, if we find a breast cancer, we treat it and then they're cured and they come back. Mm -hmm. and we develop that relationship with them. Oh, and I know, uh, amazing. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it till I retire. So, Ms. Joellen, how can we find more information um, about breast cancer? Okay, well for breast cancer, a good source is the Susan G. Komen Foundation. You can go to a website called breastcancer.org. Also, the American College of Radiology has more information than you'd probably ever want to know about yeah. breast imaging. <laughs> Um, if you want to know more about us, you can go to glenwoodregional.org, our website. We're located in the Glenwood Medical Mall. Okay, awesome. Okay. Well, I appreciate you so much for just being thank so you, informative Ashley. and okay. joining us today. Okay, thank you so much. Yes, of course. Well, thank you guys for watching today's episode of Chamber Chats. Um, stay tuned as we highlight more awesome chamber members, board members, community partners. And if you want more information about the West Monroe Chamber, visit westmonroechamber.org.